Okay, so in this video now we will be adding animations to our zombie. As you know that we already have this uh, zombie 2 animator controller attached to this. So let's click on zombie 2. Let's move this one right here. And then this any state right there. And right here let's create parameters. The first one will be of type pool by the name of is chasing. Then the next one will be is attacking. And then the last one will be is dead. Okay, then we need to add the animations. If you go inside the scary zombie pack right here, you will find this zombie walk. Let's drag and drop the zombie in there. Okay, this is the zombie walk. So let's drag and drop it. Then after this, you will find this zombie run. So add this one. Then and you will find this zombie attack. So drag and drop this one. And after this, you will find this zombie dying. Okay, this one. So let's add this one right here. Now rename the first one to walk. This one will be chase then this one will be the attack and then this one will be dead make a transition from walk to chase then from chase back to walk the same from chase to attack then attack to chase and then from all these three make a transition to dead okay now let's select this first transition remove the as exact time and right here Simply set the is chasing to true, then select the other one, remove that, set is chasing to false, select this one, remove as exact time, set is attacking to true, and right here, set it to false, then select this one, set is dead to true, then select the other one, do the same in the third one as well. That is it. So the animation are set up. We have the parameters as well. If you open up the script right here, animator is already attached and assigned automatically, as you can see. Now, let's start adding animations. So right here in the dead state, we will handle the animations right here. So we will say animator dot set pool let's set the is chasing to false after this we will set these attacking to false and the is dead to true since the zombie will be dying then if we scroll down to our chase method right here in the chase the zombie is chasing will be true and the is attacking will be false like this and then in the attack player we will set the is chasing to false and the is attacking to true that is all for the animations if we save the script get back to unity click on zombie 2 as you can see everything is set up the animator as well now let's click on game play it and now let's check it out if we click on scene view as you can see right here the zombie is walking okay and what we can do is actually let's leave it as it is but now as you can see the zombie animation works perfectly fine as you can see okay now if we get closer to the zombie as you can see the zombie speed is changed but the animator is it isn't changed okay so let me check it why so if we see the chase player right here we 
type the is capital in is chasing is attacking and is dead but if we see the zombie 2 animator parameters as you can see the i is small but right here in this that it's capital okay so we need to change the i in the is attacking make it capital and right here as well i don't know why it remains small but okay just change it play the game again all right let's first of all kill this one now if we see this one as you can see now the zombie can walk chase and the zombie is not attacking i don't know why his attacking is true okay so guys i have found the reason behind why it was not working and that is because uh, if this transition which is from chase to walk right here we just set the is chasing to false right here you need to make the is attacking false as well so if these two are false then it will get back to the walking or else it will be in chase or attack okay I don't know why in my previous game I didn't edit this second condition and it was working perfectly fine but in this one it works with this condition as well when if the is attacking is false okay I don't know why but it is what it is now so either you can add the second condition or you can just remove this transition because once the player is in the chase then the player the zombie will simply chase the player around the whole environment okay but if you want if the player gets out of the radiuses then of course the zombie will have to get back to the walk so that's why you just need to add the second condition which is more suitable all right now if we play it again you will notice now that it will work perfectly fine that we kill this zombie now as you can see the zombie can attack us okay the zombie can chase us and now let's get out of the zombie radius and let's see if the zombie okay so the zombie is still following us okay it is really hard to get out of the radius but now as you can see all of the animations are working perfectly fine